This week's video is coming to you from New York City where I'm attending the annual conference of the Rabbinical Assembly, the Organization of Conservative Rabbis. And I wanted to share with you a thought about this week's portion, Acharemot Kedoshim. This double portion not only discusses the special sacrifices and observance of Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, but also contains what is known as the Holiness Code. Kedoshim is Hebrew for holy, the idea that we are commanded to be holy and to act in ways that reflect holiness in our lives. In fact, according to the rabbis, this portion serves as the exact middle of the entire Torah to show how at the heart of the Torah, it's all about our relationship to God and how we are to act is all about being holy and reflecting holiness in our lives. And one of the verses that uh, contains such a commandment is, Al ta'amod al dam re'echa, which loosely translates, don't stand idly by. We must be involved and advocate if we see our neighbor, our fellow human being, in trouble. We are not supposed to literally stand on their blood. We are, if we see our fellow in trouble, we are supposed to do everything we can to help them. But advocacy isn't the only thing that is important. We need to be sure that we temper that advocacy to ensure that our passions don't get out of control. Such is the case as we saw in Baltimore this week, the terrible case of the man who was under arrest, injured while in police custody and died, and the subsequent po protests to the, the alleged police brutality. The, these protests were absolutely justified and police behavior is, is under tremendous scrutiny in America today. But we see what happens when that advocacy and the passion for justice got out of control. The arson, the injuries that were perpetrated, so-called in the name of justice, that is, that is uncalled for. And so the, we are to be holy, kedoshim tihiyu, ki kadosh ani Adonai Elohechem. We are to be holy because God is holy. And so it's only God that can temper uh, emotions. God is perfect. We need to strive to be like God, to temper that advocacy, to ensure that our mov motives are just all the time. Then we can surely reflect God's holiness. Shabbat Shalom.